This is Robbie from Branco Guitars and today we're going to do a very quick and very simple project. We're going to make a stomp box. So if you don't know what a stomp box is, a stomp box is one of these and basically you stomp on it with your foot and it produces a percussion sound, normally sounding like a bass drum or something like that and it's used to accompany yourself if you're a solo acoustic artist or something like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to build one and we're going to build a very very simple one and we'll take it in now and show you our parts. So here is our ridiculously large parts list. We've got an output jack and we've got a piezo pickup here, uh, just like a small little transducer here. These literally cost pennies and um, I think you can go onto AliExpress and stuff and buy a bag of them for like a euro or a dollar or whatever. So they're easily got anywhere and ridiculously cheap. And we've got a piece of spruce here that's relatively square and we've got, just got a piece of scrap plywood here that we're going to use for the sides and top. So basically all we're going to do is, we're just going to solder our piezo uh, pickup here onto our output jack. We're going to stick it to the back of our piece of spruce here, uh, probably with some hot glue. And that's going to be the surface that we tap on uh, to get our percussive sound. And uh, the spruce isn't very strong but it will vibrate a little bit which is what we want. And then we're going to use the plywood just to make up the sides and the back. So we'll plow on with this really quickly, uh, we'll get this wired up. Uh, quickly do our small bit of soldering that we have to do and then we'll get the whole thing assembled hopefully. So we're just doing our electronics here and this is very simple as I said this is just the wire off the piezo here and we're literally just soldering the uh, ground to ground and then uh, the live to live and that's it. So that's our ground in place and we'll just get our, our hot side here done as well. And that's it, that's all our soldering done, that should be it for the whole project. So we'll just very quickly uh, attach that to our uh, piece of spruce and just see if things are working. So as you can see here we've just plugged this into a guitar jack. So we've got the piezo there and we just have it sitting here, not actually attached. We'll be using hot glue to get rid of some of that sound. But basically this is how it's going to work. And as you tap that with your foot, that gives you the bass uh, drum accompaniment that we want. So we'll get the box built up now and we'll get the whole thing put together. So we've got our two wedges here now and all we're going to do is glue and screw uh, this uh, spruce piece on top and then once we've done that we'll add some reinforcement to the back and to the front here. So we should have a little bit of flex in it but not too much that the whole thing will break and then we'll come back and we'll drill our hole for our access for our uh, output jack and we'll glue the um, piezo in place and that should be us nearly done. So next step glue and screw these in place. So we've got our two wedges and our top piece here and we're just going to apply some glue along here We'll put our top piece in place and we'll just screw that in place then So because we've made the sides of our stomp box uh, ridiculously thick, uh, we're just going to do a small counter bore with this Forstner bit, just to allow the output jack to uh, go in place. So I'll just drill that out very quickly now. So just to show you, we now have our output jack in place there. It's, it's just inside there and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hot glue down our uh, piezo pickup itself as well as the wire to stop anything moving and we'll give it a test and see what we've got.
So here's the unit all done, uh, all our gluing done and it's plugged in and just a quick test of it working. So it seems to be working fine, we'll just do one final test. So as you said, here's the finished piece, just a few bits of scrap wood, an output jack and a piezo pickup, and some hot glue, some screws. But I said it works, it functions, it's obviously hideously ugly. So we're going to take this as being the prototype or Mark 1, and we're going to come back and we're going to do a much more robust, much fancier version, maybe a little bit larger, and we'll get rid of all the screws and stuff like that, hide it up, we'll use nicer woods and that. But it's going to be exactly the same concept, just a few pieces of wood and a few bits to add lying around. Total cost of this to me was zero, as it's all bits and pieces I just had lying around in spare part bins and stuff. But as I said, you could buy the piezo, buy the output jack for literally pennies, and then just bits of scrap wood that are lying around. A few screws, a bit of glue, and stuff like that. Nothing too major. So as we said, all works, all good, and we'll come back another time. Well, hopefully a mark two.